Hi guys, Kawa here again. So, uh, this is going to be my summoning video. Uh, the new Mythic banner just came out today, and uh, I intend to do some summons. So, I guess you guys can watch me burn my orbs on this, and maybe I can get lucky and get the things I'm looking for. Uh, but before that, I'm just going to really quickly explain to people, I guess, who are new to this, uh, what I mean by a Mythic banner. Uh, a Mythic banner, as you can see here, is uh, different from a regular banner in the sense that it only shows up uh, once every three months I think it was because legendary banners show up once every month um, and the difference between these banners from regular banners is uh, the fact that uh, you can only pull these people you see um, on this picture here um, and the rate is higher. It's a 8% rate instead of the usual 3% and you can only pull these units. Um, as for regular banners like this here, it's a 3% rate for the people that you can see here, the 3 here. And uh, you can also pull someone else that's not in this picture but shares a color. You can't do that with uh, the Mythic banner. So anyways, um, that was just a quick thing to let people know. Uh, I'm going to just really quickly burn uh, this one free summon I got. Um, whenever a banner shows up, you get one free summon. So let me burn some of this horrible luck here. Uh, I actually don't remember what color I'm supposed to pull. I think red? It's probably not going to be anything. We're just burning our bad luck here. Okay, nothing here. We didn't expect anything, so that's fine. Alright. Okay, we're done here. Alright, so for the Mythic Banner here, we're looking for, obviously, the new unit, which is um, her, Thrasier. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, you can correct me in the comments, I guess, if I'm wrong. <laughs> and we're also looking for uh, Air, who is colorless. Um, we... So the colors we're looking for to pull on is colorless priority, after that is green, and if neither of those two are around, we'll probably do red. Uh, I'm hoping with my 398 orbs that I can get what I'm looking for. I want as many airs as I can get, and want just maybe one Thrasier, I don't care what her IV is. Um, yeah, I just need one. And then red is just like units with skills that I don't mind having um, on the ready so that I can give it to all the units. Alright, let's start. Uh, let's start with my free one. Uh, okay, two colorless, a green, and a red. Okay. Uh, also, in this banner, blue sucks. Don't pull on blue. For anyone who is playing this game right now, <laughs> you don't want to pull on blue. Blue sucks this time around. Do not pull on it. Alright, we pull nothing. Well, we pull the four star. Yeah, he doesn't do anything good. Uh, this is the three star. Okay, Jacob. Uh, let's pull on green. I'm just probably gonna pull on red too. Actually, I probably shouldn't. It costs four orbs right now to s pull. Uh, I'll probably pull on red if it's the last orb where only um, where only costs three instead of four, just to save orbs. Because it's not a priority for me to pull on red. It's just something nice to have. All right, so nothing on this session. Next one. Uh, one colorless. Another three star. So for anyone who's not familiar, if there's no smoke that comes out of the, um, I guess the rock, <laughs> um, it means that it's a three star. If smoke comes out, it's a four star guaranteed or a potentially a five star. We're looking for five stars. Ooh, this one's nice. Oh, 
Oh, that's a rare. Um, Jenny. Ugh, this is the one I didn't want to pull. <laughs> uh, let's check her IV. Oh, wow. That's perfect IV. Seeing she has high attack and she's getting a attack buff and she has really low defense. So getting a negative in her defense doesn't matter. Um, I, I don't have one, so I guess that's fine. Um, she's worth something. Alright. I guess the art's really good too, so... I guess I could add it to my collection. So I guess while I'm pulling, I'll just explain to you guys that, um... It's not very important to get 5-star units, like... You can use a lot of 3 and 4 star units and you can get really far in the game. Like 5 star units are not necessary. Uh, usually 5 star units are uh, good for the skills that they have. And in this game, um, other units can inherit the skills. Uh, you can like kill off a 5 star to give their skills to someone else. Because it's easier to uh, merge a unit. Uh, a three or four star unit than it is to obviously like let's say merge Jenny here because she's really hard to get versus someone like here Priscilla she's really easy to get all right that's one rare oh three blues ugh oh nice. Wow, we actually pulled her pretty early. Okay, let's take a peek. Uh, that should be bad, but I don't think it really matters because uh, she has a purpose where it doesn't really matter what her stats are. Uh, also, if anyone can pronounce that weapon of hers right here, um, right here, <laughs> uh, that would be uh, interesting. <laughs> I, I think it's called a finger or something like that. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I'm going to pull one more, I guess, on green. Like, a better stat one would be nice, but not mandatory. Yeah, we don't need to look at him. Next. So yeah, in this scenario where it's two colorless, two green, and red, I'll probably do the full circle. A full circle costs you 20 orbs. Even though I technically don't need to do green anymore, uh, I'll still do it. Also, for you know, people who don't play this game, the art is really good, in my opinion. Uh, and also, it's really uh, friendly to people who are free to play, because you just, you know, like I said, it, it takes three months before a Mythic Banner shows up. And you more or less know what units show up on it beforehand. So you have three months worth of time to save up resources for it. It's very, very generous. And then if, you know, there's no units on the banner you want, you can just wait for the next one. Because all these um, non-5-star units, well, not all non-5-star units, but a good amount of them, get a weapon refine, which makes their uh, skills do extra things, which kind of puts them on par with a 5-star, because they're... Oh, hey, another one. Wow. Um... Okay, I think I'm really done pulling on green. What was that? Is that how you greet people in the Order of Heroes? She's supposed to attack too. Um, yeah, she's like the perfect one. <laughs> I don't think I need to pull on green anymore. So I guess instead of pulling on green, we're gonna switch priorities from green to red. So priority is gonna look colorless, red, green. Wow! Oh, wait. Never mind! <laughs> I, I thought this was the legendary Erica. She looks exactly the same as this one. I swear to god. Uh, 
And I, I thought it was her, but it's not. Because Legendary Erica um, is in this pool of summons. I, I really thought I pulled her. <laughs> I always get those two mixed up. They, they have very similar art. Uh, This is a questionable one. If I want to do the reds or not. Like, I haven't pulled the air yet. Hmm. Hard choices. But I do want more copies of red units. So I'm going to go pull on it because I want the skills from them. Uh, no idea why I'm loading so slow today. It's like a lot of people summoning or something. <laughs> like, I shouldn't be this slow. Uh, he's fine. He has um, a premium skill, even though I think I have like a bunch of them sitting around. Um, he has Wings of Mercy, for those who are interested. Um, it's a very... I would like to say it's a very premium skill. Uh, when I first started the game, I couldn't find any Wings of Mercy, and it's a skill that more or less lets the user teleport to anyone who's low on HP. Uh, but yeah, I think I was talking about red units that I wanted to pull. Uh, I want to pull Ellie Wood because uh, I have one that's like merging. That I'm merging. Um, I think he's like plus four. I wouldn't mind him going higher because he, I do use him for things. Uh, Erica, I already have a plus ten. Oh, uh, here's the other one. Here's Hrid. Um He's not a bad unit, but... I kind of like his skill more than anything. Let's see what he is. Uh, he has crappy stats. So he has a very coveted skill, which is here, Distant Counter. Uh, it lets any, you know, it lets anyone who's melee attack any ranged person who attacks them. It's a very not easy to find skill, so that's the main reason why I've been pulling on this color. All right, let's continue. Still looking for that. Air. Or, yeah, it's ear. It, ear? Air? It's E I R. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you guys know I'm not that great at pronouncing certain names. Uh, oh, wait. I'm not even supposed to pull that second one, was I? Oh, damn it. I'm supposed to save it all for colorless. This, I need. I want to say I need, like, seven copies of air. Um, yes, this is Ellie Wood, but this is not the one I'm looking for. The one I'm looking for is a legendary one. He's a five star. Same dude, uh, different version. Ugh. So when you get like a circle like that, where it's just like, ugh, <laughs> you, you don't want to pull any of it, but it's like, ugh, whatever. There are certain uh, ones where there's only one color on it, like all five of the options are that one color, so you're kind of forced to pick it. Uh, you don't see them very often, but they do show up. Um, this unit's good, Hinata. Uh, he has a very useful skill, so for new players, you guys should not merge him up. Uh, because he has Fury, Fury 3. And you don't really find a lot of Fury 3 fodder sitting around, like, you know, to give the other units is a very good skill. Um, so that you guys such wide open will Man, probably want to avoid <laughs> Avoid using him like that. Just save him. <laughs> You're going to probably kill him off for other units later on uh, in the game. Uh, here's my colors. Another Jenny. Okay. Uh, I, I I really don't need another one, but I guess. Uh, that's not bad either. Plus HP minus defense. That's not bad. I. Mm, I don't want her though, but 
I really hope I don't pull like 10 copies of her because then I'll be obliged to use her. I really don't want to. Uh, I'm not going to waste any more on these type of summons. I need to focus on colorless because I haven't seen even one copy of the unit I'm looking for. And this happened to me uh, the last time she showed up on a banner. I I think I dropped like five, maybe even more than five, like 600 orbs onto it in hopes of finding her. I think I only found one copy and it was really sickening. But she was sharing the color with um, another good unit, so it wasn't as bad. There is another good uh, unit on this color list right here. Um, it's Corin, female Corin. Um, she's she's good. She's a very very strong unit, and she has a very good exclusive skill. Um, I already have two copies of her, but I wouldn't mind more. Though I don't think I would ever build her as like a to use unit, mainly because. Uh, female Corrin is a dragon, and there's a lot of dragons slaying these days. Like, a lot of people have abilities to kill dragons. Oh, uh, speak of the devil, there she is. Um, yeah, a lot of people have uh, bonus damage against dragons, so I would not use her. No matter what form I should take, I will protect you. So yeah, she's really good for... Well, she actually has two really good things. She has uh, attack speed solo. And uh, sudden panic. If I remember correctly, she's the only one who has sudden panic right now. It's a it's a debuff that she can give to enemies um, where uh, it changes their bonuses to uh, negatives instead, which makes them uh, makes her ability really good. But as I said, she's a dragon, so there's a lot of dragon killing these days. So you don't really want to use her as a unit. But if you do like it, you know you could. In this game, you're almost free to use almost anything. So that was, what, five? Two Thrasiers, two Jennies, and one Corn. Yeah, that's five rares, uh, three colorless. We have not seen one air yet. <laughs> Uh, this is so bad. I really hope I, I at least find like a few copies. I'm really looking for it. So we still have 280 orbs right now, so we still have a long way to go. So yeah guys, I usually uh, summon every month on the legendary banner, usually. It's very rare I don't summon, it's like, unless there's something I really don't, unless the banner really is bad and I don't see anything I want, uh, I normally do summon. So if you guys do like watching me spend my orbs summoning stuff, um, and I guess talking while I summon, um, I could do it <laughs> more often. Uh, obviously, there are going to be some occasional banners with new units that I might be interested in, um, and I'll spend on those too. Uh, yeah, we'll just do the whole circle for this one. See, there's no blue. Uh, whenever it feels like letting me summon. There we go. Actually, I should have summoned green first, thinking about it. 
Because there's nothing in green I'm really looking for. And... And you, each time you summon, your percentage goes up a, a little bit to get a rare. Because, you know, it eventually puts you to like a point where you absolutely have to pull your rare. But it usually caps out around... 10% I want to say. I seen it go higher obviously, but uh, it caps out usually around 10. I think I seen it the furthest it ever went was maybe 14%. Like right now I'm at 8.5 because we start at 8. I seen it hit like 14. But it was like one time and it was like when I was really unlucky. So yeah, as I was saying before, um, if you see a character you like, it doesn't matter the rarity, um, they're usually usable in this game. Like, with skill inheritance, you can find a way to make it work. Uh, there are just some, you know, sub good units, like, you know, units that have been um, out, like, in the beginning, like, the very beginning of the game, like, and they don't have, like, any refines, no nothing, then they're pretty crappy. Uh, but usually they get better because as game goes on, more things get released, more new skills, uh, weapon refines. Like, this is a perfect example. Matthew here, uh, when I started the game, he was like, ugh, complete trash. <laughs> his attack stat is so low, but he got a refine on his weapon, uh, I want to say a few months ago, uh, that makes him really, really good in my opinion. So, yeah, you can pick, like, a waifu and then, you know, work on them. I do have some project units that, you know, I just build because I'm like, oh, you know, kind of like the character. <laughs> it's, like, uh, not very viable for other things, but you can always wait. Hope for the best. Alright, we're just going to do the full banner for this one, even though I don't need green. Uh, I'm trying to up the percentage, and hopefully I don't see a green rare here? Alright, I've seen a dodge two more rares. Oh, dodge two rares here? Well, I mean, I meant to say I need to dodge two more pulls. As long as they're not rares, my percentage will go up, and, um... I can maybe get a rare on my next colorless pull. Oof. Uh, okay. Uh, Racing here always scares me with his gigantic um, shadow. It's just like, uh, who is that? It's, oh, it's just Racing. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, uh. Let's see, percent is 9.5. Ooh, this one looks nice. Three colorless. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Air. <sighs> First one. We need so many more. But we pulled one. Uh, you get her for free when you play the game. Uh, when you clear book three, chapter one, you get one of her for free. Um, but you want as many copies of her as you can get. Mainly because... Oh! A plus attack one. I've been looking for this forever. Uh, but anyways. Uh, you... Uh, you get a free one, and you want her because she is the light mythic hero, as you can see here. And uh, you need her for uh, Aether Raids. Uh, it's something else I can probably touch on if you guys want me to touch on later on, uh, or in a separate video. But yeah, you need her for Aether Raids, and she currently is the only light hero there. Uh, also, for people who are going to start the game, um, like who haven't started yet, 
um, I believe it's still active when you make a new account it should give you a uh, special banner where you can pull air I would and then the game starts you with I think like uh, I want to say roughly 200 orbs like you can get like about 200 maybe even more orbs before the banner expires for you because I think it lasts like about like I, I want to say like two three weeks and you get all these like beginning quests and stuff that just like rains orbs on you um, just unload your orbs onto that banner to pull air uh, because at the beginning of the game, air will carry you through almost anything, and uh, you will need her for uh, ether raids, which is the higher um, tier event type of thing that you have to do. That, that it's a weekly. Um, I don't. I don't want to call it an event. It's a um, tournament. I guess you want to call it. I can call it a tournament. Um, but yeah, you need as many copies of her as you can get your hands on. Uh, because you need two of them. At bare minimum, you need two. Don't start merging them until you have two. And then you merge and try to make one um, plus ten before you move on to the next one. Because you need two of them to maximize your scoring in the uh, in Aether Reads. That's something I messed up on. Um, I didn't do my homework before I uh, started the game. I didn't realize I was supposed to pull for air. Uh, I kind of went and pulled for other things. I pulled for Ophelia and Lewin, uh, the green and the blue units, in case you don't know. And I think, I want to say I did some for Owain too. I thought I was like, oh hey, cool. This dude looks cool. Let me pull some of him too. It's like, uh. And I didn't pull air because I thought she was like, I was like, uh. We got a free one of her. Why do I need more of her? <laughs> so, don't make the same mistake I did. Because now I'm paying the price because I have to go back around to try to pull as many copies of air as I can now. But yeah, if you guys like to see um, more videos of Fire Emblem, I'm happy to make it for you guys. Seeing it doesn't take too much time for me to set up for it. And uh, it's on my phone, so I have access to it at all times. I can make like a video for Aether Raids, because that's usually where things get complex. Um, show you guys some of my defense teams, um, stuff like that. Oh god, I'm running a little bit low on orbs, and I only pulled one air. One air, one Corrin, two Jennies, two Thrasiers? Did I forget anyone? Oh, uh, one Hrid. Oh, that was who I forgot. I forgot to pull them. It sounds like I have a feeling I pulled something in red. I'm pulling a lot of Sizos. I hope the game doesn't think I'm going to um, merge him. <laughs> I do have a thing of, <laughs> in this game where even if the unit is good, if I don't think they look like their character art doesn't look good, I would never build them. <laughs> like this guy here, if you told me he was god tier, you would still not convince me to <laughs> build him. <laughs> it, it, it's just something I I don't know. It's just like ah uh, no, <laughs> and they don't look at least half decent. I'm not gonna go work on them. But
Ugh, no colorless? Uh, red, I guess. But yeah, for people who are interested in this game, you also don't need to like... Okay, I was supposed to say, is this Legendary Erica? No, it's not, okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was saying, uh, for people who are interested in this game, you don't really need to know anything about Fire Emblem to join this game. Um, because they do have this new thing called Lost Lore, which um, more or less, I guess you can call it a summary. It summarizes these uh, older Fire Emblem game stories and like introduces you to these characters. You don't have to know any of these characters. Like I, I don't know some of these characters myself. Man, I'm not getting a lot of colorless um, orbs to summon on. Sometimes I think the game is just spiting me and not letting me pull my airs. Uh, just red. And see, again, we don't need green. Oh no, I'm down to 130 orbs. Alright, so my dream of pulling... What is it, 7? Oh, 6 now. 6 airs is uh, not happening. At this time, I don't even think I could pull another 2. It's probably going to give me like another 3 jennies before it gives you another air. This is a game that's not like me, apparently. <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> I, I feel like I cursed myself with that one. Uh, here's another Jenny. Let's take a look. Let me help you. This food is so good. You're here. I'm so happy. Well, um, she'll probably die and turn to fodder for me. Uh, because her stats are bad. Or I might merge them. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think she has any skill. I like need but merging her doesn't do me any good either so oh hey I didn't know Mercedes was demoted huh interesting I really did not know this um okay I, I never had one so that's good. Uh, okay, we can't do the other colors now because we're just getting low on orbs and we're not. So and we only pulled one air so far. Please don't give me another Jenny. <sighs> so I was just kidding before. Please don't give it to me. <laughs> another two airs would be nice. Mercedes got demoted. It must have happened when I wasn't paying attention because I don't recall her being demoted. Yeah, she's from a new game and she came out recently, so 
I guess she got demoted when I wasn't, like, looking. Oh, God. I'm pulling so many Priscilla's. I actually need a Nana that's plus HP. Um, but, whatever. I need the air more than anything. Oh, Corrin. Okay. Um, better than an upgrade from a Jenny. <sighs> Ooh, it's a plus attack one. I remember hurting Azura. I can't believe that I... I can never forgive myself. Mm. You know what? This is a keeper. Uh, actually... Yeah, I'll leave her as potential. You know what, at this point, I'll take one more air. Just one more already makes me feel better. I feel like I'm never going to get to plus 10 at this point. Maybe I'll do another summon session uh, towards the end of this banner. Uh, this banner ends in 7 days. So, maybe I'll do another summoning session. If you guys want to see it, um, let me know and I'll record it. Uh, if not, I'll just um, go do it in shame. <laughs> my terrible luck. So nobody else can see my terrible luck while I'm trying really hard to get this one very specific unit. Oh, hey, Nana! Okay, uh, are you plus HP? You are not plus HP. You're plus speed. Well, on the bright side, I pro two Thrasiers. We only needed a one, but we pulled two. So that's our bright side. So yeah, this is another tip I gotta give you guys. Um, when you go summoning like this, you gotta know what your target is. Just don't go in blind. Don't just go spend because you can. Because, um, like I said, if you're, especially if you're free to play, you, you need to know what your, go your goal is before you go into these type of things. And then, don't tell me you're summoning because you want, like, a 3 or 4 star unit. Because, you know, y you progressively get them when you get your free pole on these banners. Like, there's like, I want to say, like, a, a new banner every week. <laughs> um, and your free poles will eventually get you there. Especially with the three four star units. And then you have so many you don't know what to do with them. Uh looks like I got approximately a little over ten summons left in me. Wow, can I just get one more air, please? <laughs> pull less rares than usual. What's it? Three Jennies, two Corins, one Air, one Hrid. That's only seven. Seven for 400 orbs? That's actually really low. I usually pull like well into like 10 to 15 units with 400 orbs. Oh no, we have to think better, obviously. Because, um, you know, you get an 8% rate. Ooh, a plus HP one. 
I'm going to have a use for her later on. Oh, wait, no. Did I miscount? Three Jennies, two Corins is five. One Air is six. Two Thrasiers is eight. Yeah, is eight. One Hurt is nine. So we're a little bit under the average, I think. Okay, can get there maybe. Like if I hit her two rares, three ideally, we'll be like within the average. Right now we're a little bit on the below side, but we only have thirty orbs left, which is realistically like, like six more summons. Oh god, it's forcing me onto red. Come on, back to back rares. Nope, that's not rare. Oh, that's not a rare either. Well, the only way I'm going to break the average is if I really hit on this run here. <laughs> that character is just so weird to me. He's like the tough guy priest. It's like, it's a weird <laughs> mixture there. Hold one air. All right, so I'm not gonna use another summon because um, it takes five to make the initial summon, and then the next summon is four. So if I magically run into, well, let's say magically, like if I run into two colorless circles, I can only pull one. So I'm gonna hold off now. <laughs> uh, man, this is so bad. Um, oh, you guys see my air? I guess where is she? So this is the one you you start with. Um, she has uh, no uh, boons and banes, meaning she doesn't have any plus and negative stats. Uh, her IVs are neutral. Um, and this is the one I got. It's plus attack. Uh, so let's see which was the crappy one. Uh, it... This is the higher merge one, right? Yeah, this is the higher. This is plus one. Yeah. So, let me take that off, or else I can't merge her. She goes here. The new one goes here. And I have a plus four air. I need six more copies, bare minimum, for her. <gasps> Alright, uh, I will... 95% chance that I will be pulling again on the <laughs> banner. I'm not sure I'm going to do near 400 orbs, but I'll definitely do something on it. Um, I really want those airs. Uh, yeah, guys. Um, let me know if you guys want to see it. I'll, I'll feel myself suffering through this again. Uh, just let me know. Alright, guys. Till later.